And I'm back again. I just got out of the shower, so that's why my hair looks wet. Because it is. And I've got to go to work in a couple hours. So, uh, and apparently February is the slowest month for business. So right now I'm working four days a week. And I'm working some six-hour days instead of eight-hour days. <clears throat> and uh, other people's hours have been cut, too. So it's not just me. But, but uh, I, I'm sure business will start picking up uh, in the spring. And, and we're, we're still getting people coming in because gas is so cheap now. It's below $2. Uh, but anyway, I've just been thinking lately about my autism diagnosis and other people. Like, like if they, uh, no, I've been diagnosed, or, or if they suspect. Uh, I haven't told any of my coworkers or really anybody except my family. But yeah, you know, I'm not like hiding it or anything. Uh, but if it doesn't come up, uh, I won't mention it. But, you know, when does autism come up in conversation? Yeah, I did, um, uh, put down on the, my job, my, my, my work papers, whatever they're called. When I was first hired, it, it did ask if I had a disability and it gave some examples and, Autism was as uh one of the examples, so I did did uh uh put down yes for that question, but I, you know I didn't specify my you know disability, which I don't really like that word, kind of. It kind of sounds like, uh, people are broken, like, who have a disability. Like, you disable, uh, a, a security system. You, you disable it so it doesn't work. So, so, you know, I don't really like that word. But, I'm not exactly sure what else, what other word to use. I haven't talked to anyone about it, and, and I'm sure my coworkers have noticed that I've, I'm quiet and shy, and and. And, uh, uh, probably a little bit odd. Uh, I don't know if they just think it's part of my personality or what. Not sure if they need to know. Uh, it's, it's not hurting them. And it, it's not really hurting me either. It just makes it a, a little bit harder for, for me to do some certain stuff. But, Yeah, this makes me wonder if, if they know, if, if they know what I know, <laughs> like, something like that. They know you know. And you know, I can't really ask, do you know that I 
been diagnosed with autism because if I ask them that, then you know now they know. And yeah, they they're they're all really nice and all. So so they they'll if if you know we do ever talk about it, I'm sure they'll be fine with it and be respectful. They're, yeah, they're they're nice people, but uh, I've been saying but a lot. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's just something I, I was thinking about it, and if it really matters or 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 what, yeah, you know, I, I did make another video about, like, uh, if, uh, being gay or transgendered was, uh, similar to having an autism diagnosis or, or, or a mental illness, uh, <coughs> you can go back and watch that video. This like, I don't know, something I've been thinking about. And I don't know if I should do something or do anything. If it ever does come up, I'll, I won't deny it. But I might not say I have autism unless I've been like, uh, directly asked. Because that, that's actually the thing about me. I'm. And, and, thing about me and with other, other autistic people. Um. We, uh, they, me and others have a hard time just, like, jumping into conversations and, or jo joining them and, Unless we were like directly asked, it was like between two other people. It's it's hard for me and like many other uh, people with with autism just to join that conversation. Unless like we were all already in it from the beginning. But yeah, I'll I'll try to to uh, <laughs> be more talkative and more. That that's one of the things that has gotten better for me, but still has a long way to go. Like like having the conversation and. And keeping it going. But anyway, that's pretty much all my thoughts about this. Uh, it's just something I've been thinking about this past week. And it's actually been a pretty, uh, like, kind of eventful week because, uh, my parents and I went skiing over the weekend and then my mom fell and actually broke a couple ribs. Uh, but I I didn't see her fall. I, I wasn't with her at the time. But she, yeah, she's been in a lot of pain lately, and had to stay home from from work for a couple of days. She's at work today. She, she's been getting better each day, so that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that happened, and and yeah, it's, she's a long time skier, so her ski season this year would, seems to have been cut a little bit short. Uh, yeah, that that's all for this week's vlog.
And until next video, uh, good goodbye.